Nothing's gonna happen to her. Whisper's connected with 20,000 pounds of straps. We're good. Hey YouTube Nation, was every piece of cereal in your bowl super soggy this morning? Did your pants split up the butt when you sat down? Sounds like you're in need of a four-legged pick-me-up, buddy! <laughs> Today we're celebrating some of the coolest animals we've had on the show in the last few months. It's not gonna change that flat tire for you, but it will help you do it with a smile. South African zookeeper and big cat expert Kevin Richardson loves lions so much so that he literally breaks every safety rule in the book when he's working with them. Of all the big cats, lions mean the most to me. It's a relationship you have to build over time. Kevin operates a wildlife sanctuary in South Africa, and he recently opened his doors to shoot a commercial for menswear line Van Gills. Van Gills is the official suit maker of the Dutch national soccer team, so what better way to honor them than to play a little soccer? Hey YouTube Nation, my name's Joe Beretta. I am visiting from the SourceFed offices. Fair warning, what I'm about to show you is slightly disturbing, but mostly awesome. What you're seeing here is a kid innocently riding his bike in the driveway when all of a sudden, out of the blue, a dog attacks him. And you think you're about to watch the worst thing you've ever seen in your life until, boom, cat parkour kick to the face, cat saves the day. Thankfully, the little kid is all right. He's just walking away with a couple stitches and an everlasting love of cats. This one is a favorite around the office today, but just a warning, you might want to have a Costco-sized box of tissues ready. Owen is eight years old and he's got a rare muscular condition. Hatchie is a three-legged rescue dog, and for the last year and a half, they've been best friends. First day I met him, he just laid up to me, put his head on my lap. Owen stroked his head and said, hello, Hatchie, and, it, and there was just like a communication between them that only they will ever understand, and there was an immediate bond. It's like they both knew that each other were different, and there was a instant acceptance of those differences. Eric said it best in the comments when he said, I think I must have swallowed a coconut because there's a giant lump in my throat. Couldn't agree more. Well guys, it looks like base jumpin's going to the dogs. Yes! National Geographic's new video showcases adventurer Dean Potter and his co-pilot Whisper the Dog as they climb, zipline, and fly through the air. Potter is confident about Whisper's safety. Her harnesses are rated on the same standards as human harnesses. And look at those cute little goggles. I'm torn because this is obviously super awesome, but is there any way the dog's actually okay with this? What do you guys think? After being shot four times saving soldiers in Afghanistan, Leica's leg had to be amputated, and Sergeant McDonald felt like he owed his life to Leica, so he did something about it. He adopted her. Adopting combat dogs is really complicated because they're thought to be too aggressive for family life, but Sergeant McDonald wanted to prove that that wasn't the case. First time I brought her home, she went right up to Liam and submitted and laid down on her back. If you bring him into a home environment, they will become a product of that environment. All animals learn to adapt and survive. Thanks so much for sticking around and enjoying some fur balls of love together. Also, my co-host would like to remind you that tomorrow is National Bring Your Dog to Work Day. So I brought someone else's dog. I'm a cat person. Make sure to check out more of our awesome animal playlists that are going to pop up all up in this space. Come here. <laughs> oh, it went right in my mouth.